Hey the guys, it's me, Game Master 949A here with Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Now, I've been waiting for this game for a while. Um, I'm gonna actually turn up the volume because from what I know of the previous Xenoblade games, this is probably gonna have amazing music. So, I want you to enjoy it. I'm probably not going to be able to hear it very well because I don't have headphones and my television's quite a bit far away. And I don't want it to appear on the mic. That would ruin your quality. So, let's start with my favorite game, Press Any Button. We win! Let's play a new game. We really do need to buy ourselves a new depth probe. The ping was off by 150 peds to the east. That's not gonna fly. And what about the treasure, Rex? Was it in line with your expectations? It seemed pretty solid. Didn't even have to reinforce it too much. Even with the labor costs, we should be able to turn a decent profit. Honestly, it takes you two days to run the structural analysis. Yet somehow you can gauge the profits in an instant. Don't go raining on my parade, Gramps. You know, I'm in the salvaging trade for the cash. A little business sense goes a long way. All right? Whoa! I think 
Didn't expect that. You've been living with this thing this time. Bricks. No worries, Gramps. I think we know what's for lunch. Okay. This is the first fight. It's time to earn your lunch. <laughs> Just love how that's the first line. Uh, to initiate combat, the first thing Rex needs to do is draw his weapon. That might be important. Uh, to draw your weapon, simply press A while targeting a monster. To display the target, just press R. You can tell which enemy you're targeting by the target marker displayed above its head. Incidentally, you can also sheathe your weapon if you'd rather not continue a fight. It's as simple as holding down R and pressing B. Oh, I, I've only played the first one, so that's a big upgrade. If you approach the targeted enemy with your weapon drawn, you'll execute attacks automatically. This is a standard auto attack. Got all that? Then it's time to draw your weapon and start preparing your lunch. Okay, time okay. To take you let's go. Auto attacks are delivered in sets of three. The attack power increases with each blow. Take a look at the art at the icons in the lower right of the screen. When one of these activates, it means an art is ready to use. Arts are special techniques distinct from auto attacks. The icons are laid out like controller buttons, so just press the corresponding button to use one. After using an art, you'll have to wait until the recharge gauge surrounding the icon has refilled before you can use it again. The recharge gauge will refill as you auto attack enemies. Try pressing X now to let it to let rip with Rex's anchor shot arc. Anchor shot! Ha! The enemy just dropped something. This is this is an item called an HP potion. Maneuver Rex to the HP potion to pick it up. It'll restore some of his HP. Some arts like Anchor Shot will always cause the enemy to drop an HP potion. Should you use your arts immediately to deal serious damage or save them when you need them? When you need bonuses like that HP boost, consider your arts tactics carefully. Why not? I didn't even need to move. Um, awesome. Yeah. Ha. So, ooh, mark punch. See, Grumps, I'm getting better. Sweet, got the money. An entire horizon of white. A sea of clouds. And at its heart, the world tree piercing the heavens. This, this is the world we call home. All rest. Story goes that when the world was young, everyone in all rest lived on the tree. Together with our divine father, the architect. According to the tales, it was a bountiful land. And the people there held the power to command even the heavens themselves. They called that paradise Elysium. But then, one day, we were cast out. Nobody knows why. Perhaps we angered our creator. Or perhaps... It was something else entirely. All we know is we were forced to leave Elysium, to live here in all rest. Where it turns out, life was pretty hard. But when it seemed like we would surely die out, the architect took pity on us, sending his servants, the Titans, to save us. The few of us who survived settled on the Titans and We've lived in harmony with them ever since. But now, those titans... are beginning to die out. Uh, oh, the 
easier does my weary old bones much good. You want me to move it, Gramps? No, that's quite all right. Leave it right there. Ah. Right up. Not another one. Been happening a lot lately. Mm, more so than before. I wonder... ...if anyone was living there. It seems not. And if there had been, they would have all left by now. Makes sense. Hey, Gramps. Do you think... Fonset Village will be gone too one day. It would not be today or tomorrow, but one day, yes, it will fall. And you too? That's how it goes with us Titans. There's no way around it. Eventually, there'll be nowhere left to live. Sadly. So... You Titans were born up there. Is that right? So they say. For what it's worth. Mind you, I was born here on all rest. As for my ancestors, who could say where they were born? Can it really exist? This Elysium? And the Creator? Who said to live there? A land of plenty atop the world tree. If such a place did exist, perhaps we could all live in peace, with no need for fighting. Sure would be great. For everyone. Even folks in Fonset. If the Divine Architect can see us now, I wonder what he thinks. Back to making money. I think this hall should be enough for today. Oi, Gramps! Care for a little swim to the Argentum Trade Guild? You're planning on selling it now? It's getting toward my bedtime. Don't play the lazy old man with me. There's plenty of sunshine left. Kids these days. No respect, I swear. I'm not going to be talking during the cutscenes because I want to hear them. I'm sure you want to hear them. But early on, cutscenes are going to be... The Argentum Trade Guild. Why, if it isn't Rex? How's business? Going all right, else I wouldn't be here. Fair point. So, which one am I unloading? We can leave that until I'm done negotiating. Shouldn't be too long. Well, morning is 15 gold per half day. I'll have your gold after I sell the stuff, all right? Later. Hey, hold on. You know I can't do credit. <sighs> Does it every time, too? 
No one, I'm afraid. Fuck yours. Awesome. This thing's huge, and it's not even a Titan ship. Also, I'd like to say this. This is completely blind, so I'm probably gonna abruptly stop talking because I have no idea when these cutscenes are appearing. Seriously, all rest. How did they survive without the Titans? It's literally just a cloud sea. Okay, anyways, back to the game. Looks like our adventure is about to really get going. And you can count on me to offer timely explanations of any new game features you encounter. When you close this tutorial screen, you'll see a gold mouth return port pop up on the screen. This is letting you know you found a landmark. When you've discovered a landmark, you can return to it instantly with skip travel at any time. If you're defeated in battle, you'll be returned to the last landmark you, that you visited. Allrest has a great variety of landmarks, so discover as many as you can to help you on your own adventure. And just in case you ever find yourself struggling with the basic controls, press left, up, or right to bring up a quick explanation of the control scheme. Left is for battle controls, up is for camera, and right is for field. Ah, oh, finally. We're getting into some gameplay. Um, let's go talk to this guy. Can I talk to you? I can shove the knob on. It's so cool. Oh, I can... Can I, can I run? Ah, Rex, you're back. Between the fee of mooring gramps here and unloading your goods, that'll be 15 G now. Ready to pay up? Oh. I can actually pay him. I haven't even sold any. Thanks a bunch. I don't know what I'd have done if you'd <laughs> tried to shirk your bill. Uh, enjoy your stay on Goldmouth. Yeah? Oh, that was like a quest. Makes you've got a lot to be proud of. Salvaging isn't exactly a stable career. Uh, some days you might hit the jackpot, but on an unlucky day you might not bring in a single G. Living independently at your age in a business like that, it can't be easy. You, you just keep up the good work, yeah? Okay, I think that's it. Um, yeah. So, if they have something like a little thing on their text box. Rex, my boy, feel free to take your time. I'm plenty tired, so I'll just snooze here for a spell. Thanks, Gramps. Take it easy, Ben. And just in case you were wondering, I don't need any souvenirs, so don't go out of your way for my benefit. Sounds good. That definitely means you want something. What? Uh, I already love the characters, and then they just drop, uh, everyone's, everyone's gonna die one day. Yay. Not one, not one. I can shove him. Oh, that! Oh my God! You move extremely fast, or, or it's just like the FPS uh, toying with my mind. Because this jump looks amazingly high. Um, up on. Uh. Berry Berry. Um, quest. Yeah. That's quest icon, I think. Wah, Rex! It is good to see you. Betty, Betty. Betty, Betty! Just a uh, while and wait. Uh, time. Watching the ships go by till cargo all loaded on board. Ah, uh, what Rex say to meal together? Nice, tasty, some old. Or some such. Some such. God. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of busy at the moment. Meh. Not too bad. Betty Betty thought would be nice to make happy memory before set, setting out on long, long voyage. 
Ah, never mind, Perry Perry. He's just being melodramatic. Rex, keep up doing good work with salvaging. God. <laughs> Speedy is not fun. It's very difficult. It's a chair. Okay, let's talk to the chair. Hi there. Rex, my boy. This up on here, here's just arrived to do a bit of sightseeing around Argentum. I keep saying the central exchange is inside Goldmouth, but just after you enter the ship, uh, but he doesn't get it. And now he wants me to take him up to uh, Limor Inn on the third floor. I'm a salvager, not a tour guide. Sir. Okay, good. You can't shove him off. That would be extremely mean if you, if you could. Oh, I would feel so bad. Um, quest icon. Quest icon is that way. So, go. I want to explore though. What's over here? Whoa! Is that like a dragon? Ah, uh, dang it. I could... Can I go? No. Can I talk? No. Can I go? No. Okay, that's what happens if you... Oh, what? <gasps> what? Um, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, did, oh, oh, I'm swimming! Oh, that makes a little bit more sense. Um, where do I go? <laughs> um, yeah, seriously, where do I go? Um, oh! Oh, thank goodness. I honestly thought it was going to be like a... Okay, that's a little bit more forgiving than uh, previous games. But previous games, I've only played the first one, so... Welcome! Welcome! Let me tell you a few things you might find useful. First up, I'll explain the regular view. See what the arrow is pointing to right now? That's the compass. The mark on the compass indicates the direction that Rex should be heading. Keyword being should. That's not where I'm going to be going all the time. The digits above the marker on the compass show the distance to your destination. If Rex is dis destination is higher than his current position, then you'll see a little arrow above the marker. Conversely, if it's at a lower altitude than Rex's current position, then the arrow will be displayed below the marker. Next up, let's take a look at the environmental information that the arrow mark is pointing to right now. This will key you into info about your immediate surroundings, like the weather, time of day, and so on. Next, the mini-map. You can use this to get a quick grasp of Rex's surroundings. The yellow marker in the middle shows Rex's current location and the direction he's facing. P push L to switch between full screen or mini-map view. Confident adventurers might prefer to make their way through all rest without using the minimap. Lastly, we have the current objective. As you might expect, this tells you exactly what what Rex is supposed to be doing at the present time. You can toggle its visibility with ZR, so take a look if you ever if you're ever unsure about what to do next. Right now, it's telling you to go and pay visit to Milolo at the Central Exchange, so try doing that. Aw, oh, dang it, the, the world is moving without me. Aw, oh, that's so cool. Um, so, time does not freeze. Uh, Nali Nali. I don't think I should be wasting time right now. Oh, wait, that's me. Aw, oh, dang it. Ooh, Argento Bazaar. And arrived. Matata. I don't think... Oh, God damn. Rex. 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 Get two shoes. Uh, have you heard anything interesting lately? There's a legendary merc of... A pal of mine told me about. Zokwin. 
And get this, he's got a huge sweet tooth. Can't say no to Cinnapon roll. Just one Cinnapon roll and he'll be pumped for the next battle. Similar to how my wife got a serious thing for Eau de, de Do. Pleasant smells are conducive to a good working environment, she says. You should find that special something that peps you up as well. Okay, that's Malolo. Um, any more normal chats? That looks like all, uh, just... Sorry. Let's do some more normal chats. Kukoi! This is not Central Exchange. Um... Draw distance. This place for import and export paperwork of Ardanian traders. Central Exchange is round center of this ship, Goldmouth. If wanting to sell salvage goods, suggest talk to Melolo. <laughs> I just love that draw distance. Hi there. Donna don't heard that it that is good idea to move around side or back of enemy during battle. Now me think this info may be relevant for repairs around Goldmouth. When it is hard to hammer in nails, you should not hit from straight above, but side on. Oof, I don't want to think about all the nails you'll end up ruining. Uh, <laughs> uh, yep, Rex and I are on the same wavelength. Oh, that's hilarious. June! Hey, Rex! Uh, looks like you've got quite the salvaging business going on there. Been to Central Exchange yet? You should bring your haul along the, their collectibles, treasures, whatever's in your pocket. You'll get a better deal if you can sell them off in bulk. Playing the market in your favor is the mark of a true salvager. Okay, so... Okay, um, yeah, let's go talk to Melolo. Melolo! What? That's it? It's live, Mayor. There's still more than I give to non-friend. If you bring military supplies, then you get good price. Cease fire between Moor Arday and Uriah, not keep for too much longer, methinks. So weaponry is hot item. Well, what friend think? I'll make it worth your while. I told you before. I stay away from that sort of thing. Oh, it's shame. Reg's good salvager. Could be a good way to earn pretty penny. Waste of talent, if you ask me. Anywho, where were we? I'll take your offer. 200 now, and you know what to do with the rest. Okie doodles. Sending monies to Corinna Fonset Village is right? Yeah. It's a beautiful thing, sending money home at such young age. I touched. Wish my own dumb, dumb little pond did same. It's because Gramps doesn't charge rent. Hey, hey. All right, I'm counting on you. Roger. Pleasure doing business. Oh, I, I love this game already. I am already, like, super attached to Rex. Oh, now can I purchase stuff? Hello, Rex. Papunin, been a while. Rex looking high spirits? Ah, uh, no, how say? Yes, Pepe. Been worse? So, you got something for me? New job, maybe? Something like that. Ah, by the way, Rex come from Fonset Village in Leptherian Archipelago, yes? Yeah, that's right. Why'd you ask? Y you should go straight to boardroom of chairman. Wait, what's going on? Chairman Banner, ask for Rex by name. The chairman? For me? I don't like the looks of this. Hey, Baboonin, let's talk. What you waiting for? Chop, chop. You need to see chairman now. You go see chairman Banner Bana now. Where is chairman's room? As oh, these are uh, chat options. Uh, go through Argenta Bazaar and upstairs. Chairman's room right there. 
Meh. Stop this dilly dally and hop to it. You young and sprightly bard, no? Ah, uh, I could only choose one thing, but that helps uh, the objective. Can I buy stuff? Nope. Gosh dang. Hold up a second before I forget. I should probably explain how to control the camera. I've probably been using that. <laughs> Uh, if you haven't been controlling the camera, that must be a pain. The camera has two modes, manual and auto. To use manual mode, just use right stick to point the camera in whichever direction you like. If you press R while the camera is in manual mode, the camera will hone in on Rex's back and follow him around. This is what we call auto mode. You can also adjust the camera's height and zoom. Hold down L and move the right stick left and right to adjust uh, camera height. Oh. Okay, that resets. Whoa! Okay. If you experiment with different camera angles, then you might be able to spot a few things that you might otherwise have missed. So give it a try. Whoa, this is... Hold on, let's click that in. And... Oh, I thought it was going to be, like, locked to my back. Okay, um, so let's zoom in. Yep, um, let's, let's, <laughs> let's play like this. <laughs> oh, no, this is bad. Hey, Max. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's let's fix that. Hi there. Can you get over the fact that you're providing for your village at such a young age, Rex? It's really admirable. You're probably heading out for a bit of salvaging after this, aren't you? Well, be careful how you go. Thanks. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm gonna. Oh, sweet location. Uh, uh, Tiwi Tiwi. Tiwi Tiwi not want to salvage anymore. Always feeling like useless beginner and it no fun at all. Really? Don't you like it when you find something good and it makes you money? It doesn't it make you feel curious when you find some... find mysterious treasures that nobody's seen before? I mean, sure, we have to deal with scary monsters sometimes, but I feel like the excitement makes up for it. Tiwi Tiwi think... Dick is more scary than Excite. Rex know about average mortality of salvagers per year. No. What is it? About 20 or so? Is 360 people every year almost the same number as Nupon who die from, from eat poison mushroom? Maybe you should do something about those poison mushrooms first. Oh, Tiwi Tiwi want out of dangerous career. <laughs> oh god. Tortor. Torture? Uh Tortor trying to study history from salvage artifacts. Have you heard anything interesting lately? No one really know of salvaged goods really used in way they describe today. Good example is giant's black ring. Look like ring for very giant finger, but then what happened to giant? Wow, pretty impressive. It piqued your imagination, no? Everything so interesting? That. I just love. Oh, it was Crabble. Is that a Crabble? Yeah, it's a Crabble! Awesome! Okay. Let's Time to uh, take, take out my weapon. Down. And murder it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Ha! Now, the question is, oh, it fully heals me after a fight. Awesome! I don't have to wait after a fight to heal, like in the original. It's awesome. I'm gonna be exploring a lot because, uh, from what I know of the original, and probably this exploring awards your XP and that's very helpful um, there's stairs 
Meme, salvage your soku. Limuli, wish could also do salvaging work instead of just guard job. But Limuli, suppose is not so bad just gazing out at clouds. Ah. Thinking that this is like a trade guild, I'm surprised that this doesn't get attacked so much. Okay, stairs. This is Hello, Hele, hele. Past here is room of Chairman Bana. Chairman very busy, Nopon. So, so no entering unless important business. Temper of Chairman famously short. Not to disturb lightly. Not to disturb at all, probably. God, Bower Lounge, Cedar. There's a look about you. There's someone who buys a lot of things at shops. I'm an up-and-coming economist, and I'm trying to encourage people to up their consumer activity. Whether buying or selling, what matters is that money changes hands. That's what keeps the economy flowing. And if the economy thrives, so will the city. Wait, this is a city? I thought this was a guild. Uh, what's that mean for you? I hear you ask. Well, it means you'll be able to buy things cheaper. Wow, pretty impressive. Isn't economics wonderful? No, it isn't. Trust me, trying to hold on to 30 bucks for me is terrifying because I just bought the, the DLC for this game. <laughs> yeah, so I have pretty much everything, so I'm, I'm ready to go for this. Uh, left all clear, right all clear, front all clear, gold mouth, A-O-K. -okay. Our gentle biggest trading port in whole of our west, so we very strict on security. Wow, pretty impressive. But it's getting very tiring lately. Uh, we start to give up hope that Limuli come back to relieve me of shift. Oh. Whoa. That's not a talk icon, so I'm not gonna go. Oh, he's down here. When did it get so late? And I'm taking a lot of time. Thanks, uh, Rex, for telling me. <laughs> Whoa. This place is... This place is huge. Like, this is literally the first area. We haven't even gotten into anywhere, like... Okay, um... I don't have any business on the higher floors right now. Ah, dang it, it's capping my movement. Probably should. <laughs> this is a 40 minute video of me just talking to NBCs. <laughs> ooh ah, ooh ah. Ha, ba, ba, ba. Something wrong? What, no. M me not in pain. Me was singing. Man, need to get better at singing. Me know, but how? Hmm. Okay, um. And arrived. They are in. Ooh. Ooh, this is nice. I seem to be. These are not on beds. These are definitely not on beds. Not on beds, definitely. Because I can't move through those. I'm too, too tall. Too tall. Have you heard anything interesting lately? Uh, uh, has friend seen proper driver fighting before? Driver use, use weapon uh, received from blade to really bash up enemy slicey slicey. Also sometimes driver return blade weapon to blade. When that happened blade can unleash powerful attack and flatten enemy. I total really love it when driver and blade do that. Blade left very tired after doing this long. So driver have to pick up slack in there. Wave weapon bishy bashy at enemy. A anyway, this is all what boyfriend teach a Toto. Oh my god, I love this world. Because every character has something about them. Tum tum tum. Okay, um, unless I see any icons from... I can't go up there. Um... Hey, okay, that's the healing effect. Hmm. Hmm. Anyways, uh, nothing. Uh, no. 
Okay, let's let's see some story progress because I might have to end this off soon. Oh. Thank you for accepting summons. I, Banna, chairman of Argentum Trade Guild. P pleased to make your acquaintance. We hear from purporting that friend is salvager of some renown. That being case, I have dinsy wincy thing to ask of Rex. A request straight from the chairman. Reward is 100,000 gold. A 100,000? Friend here, right? Actually, that just the advance. Another 100,000 provided upon completing job. 200,000 gold in total? Uh, I must be dreaming. I'll do it. I hereby swear to use every skill I possess to ensure this job is successful. I promise I won't let you down. <laughs> you agree without even hearing details of job? Oh, oh, right. Um, what kind of job is it? You really have skills for this? Of course. I'll be fine. Nah, if you say. Here, crew will explain the task. Bring them in. Sir? Drivers and blades. Whoa, they look so cool. So, there's something that we want to haul up. There were some current shifts. It showed up in an uncharted area. But it's a long way down. Nice. I like a good challenge. Banner offered to assemble a team of veterans for this job. But this crew, very picky. They want a small, elite team, and only from Latheria. That, when Banner have stroke of genius, should hire Rex. Ha <laughs> ha! You made the right choice. <laughs> a child salvager. Jin, don't tell me we're gonna have to hire some babysitters for this outing, too. What the hell? You look as much like a kid as I do, lady. At least I wouldn't wet myself for the promise of a measly underground. What are you trying to say? <clears throat> Rex, was it? I implore you to excuse my lady's discourtesy. Dromark, what have I told you about speaking for me? Shut Drop your... it, Nia. Though I do see your point. In any case, it should be easy enough to make sure... What? What are you playing at? Well, well, well. Malos, what good is it beating up a kid? You said it yourself, didn't you? What if the kid's not up to it? I said nothing of the sort. You did think it, though, right? And anyway, now we know. You'll do right enough. Though you don't look like a driver. Where'd you learn those arts? Grump showed me a thing or two. Even when I was little. That was his idea of playtime. Well, you've got some skill. I'll give you that. Guts, too. Kid, you better work hard. are such rowdy bunch. Here is advance. Use to buy what gear you need. 
Then go to dock on starboard. Banner has arranged excellent vessel for you there. You got it. Okay. I think we're going to end this off here. We're quite a bit over time. Thank you so much for watching this first episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Please stay tuned for more. Because we're going to leave off right here. We're going to come back right here. I'm extremely interested in these characters. I can't wait to see what's next. So, I'll see you next time.